The Deer Farming Channel is brought to you by Rafter P Construction. Stick around to learn more about Rafter P's design build process and of course, the biggest deer in the world. The white-tailed deer is America's favorite big game animal, and white-tailed deer farming is the fastest growing segment in the American agriculture industry. Our program's mission is to dive into the world of deer farming and discover why tens of thousands of Americans compete to create the biggest bucks in the world. And by the biggest bucks, we don't just mean the size of the antlers. The financial investment opportunities produced even on small parcels of rural land will blow you away. Join me as we discover how whitetail genetics, deer auctions, animal husbandry, and so much more drive the deer farming industry. My name is Keith Warren, and this is Deer and Wildlife Stories. Well, howdy, everybody. Welcome to the show into about one hour north of Houston, Texas, out of a little town called Shepherd. I am at big time whitetails and exotics, and this is Daryl McMasters. He's one of the owners here. And on today's show, it's gonna be a little bit different. Uh, this place is absolutely beautiful. It's got some really nice whitetail deer. We're in the buck pen right now. We're gonna show you some beautiful whitetail bucks. But the story is not about whitetail bucks. The story is gonna be about exotics and specifically fallow deer. We're gonna show you some of the world's biggest fallow deer on today's show. But let's start out by looking at some of these bucks. Tell us who these guys are. Well, this is um, Silverton over here. Mm -hmm. Boy, look at the tall tines on him. Yeah, he's got really, really tall tines. Really, really good deer. That's a beautiful buck. Yeah, he's a high heat son. That's a nice sire, yeah. Yeah, he's good. Okay, he's a good deer. And we also got um, a blackjack son over here. His name is Black Male. Mm-hmm, okay. He's another really, really good deer that we have here. I just like his big, typical, wide. How old is he? He's three years old. Okay, boy, that's a pretty deer. And see, it's uh, the first week of August, so these deer are not done yet. They got a long way to go. And now, in the name, big time whitetail and exotics, okay? And the whitetails, I mean, they've got how many here? How many whitetails you got now? About 500 adult deer. Okay, so, you know, we're looking at some bucks here and they've got some other pens that uh, got bucks in and they're, they're big bucks all over the place, okay? And that's really how they made their name. But they're really well known now for the fallow deer. So that's the exotic side. So right. tell everybody, as far as the whitetail side of your business, what you do. Just stalker bucks, you know, to ranches that we want to improve their genetics on their ranch. Mm -hmm. A lot of ranches around our area, East okay. Texas, all right. you know, and all over South Texas, West Texas. But there's a lot of high fence ranches around where we live now. When you drive in here, you're going to see the most beautiful place. It's a big place. And on one side, it's going to be uh, whitetails. Okay. And on the other side, it's going to be fallow deer. Now, we've shown you enough whitetail bucks. We're gonna now jump over to the fallow side and we're gonna show you what the fallow deer look like. So one of the hottest things in the deer breeding industry now are fallow deer. At this farm, there are fallow deer all over the place. And the thing about it is, I think a lot of deer breeders are hearing about fallow deer. And a lot of people are, are wanting to get into the fallow deer business or actually stock fallow deer on the ranches. And there's a reason for it. I'm Greg Carswell. I'm part owner here at Big Time Whitetails and Exotics. So we decided to uh, introduce fallow deer uh, along with our whitetail breeding operation. Uh, a lot of it because of the state regulations that are going on with Texas Parks and Wildlife right now. There are no regulations with the fallow deer uh, and the fallow deer industry is uh, on fire. There's a lot of people wanting to get into it. A lot of breeders started dabbling in it, okay? I started thinking there's a reason for that and I got involved now in the fallow industry. But somebody that's even more involved, that is like the biggest leader in the fallow industry in the state of Texas is this guy right here. Okay, Daryl McMaster, he is a master at growing giant fallow bucks. And so when you start taking a look at some of these bucks around the farm that we're gonna show you today, you're gonna notice that they're bigger than any fallow deer you've ever seen before. So go ahead and tell us about that one right there. 
His name is Triple Fine. How old He's, is he? Um, five years old this year. Man, he is beautiful. I mean, really look big at the palms. palms. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, and there's another buck in this pen with him. And who is that? Yeah, that's um, Iron Hide. He's a really good deer, just baseline pedigree on him, but he's really big. Okay, and how old is he? He's four years old this year. Okay, well, I noticed you got a bunch of does in here with them. Uh, what are you going to do as far as breeding goats? I mean, are you going to pull one buck out and let them breed all the does, or are you going to have both bucks in here with all no, the does? No, we're going to pull them out. They yeah, do we, get aggressive during the rut, yes, don't they? Yes, really, really aggressive. But for the most part, fallow deer are really docile. Okay, so yeah, these are spotted bucks, okay? But that's the cool thing about the fallows. I mean, they're first off, they're not regulated by Parks and Wildlife, which makes it good. They're relatively gentle. They're hardy. They're real easy to raise. Okay, so if somebody wants more information about your whitetail operation or to come out here and take a look at some of the fallow deer, give them a phone number and a website, please. Yeah, it's, uh, my phone number is 936. 402-3138. You can email me at bigtimewhitetails at gmail.com. They're only an hour from Houston, so just uh, come on out here and uh, take a look at this place. When we get back from the break, we're going to show you some more big fallow breeder bucks. Deer and Wildlife Stories is brought to you by MVP Whitetails, Dr. Ray Favero's Whitetail Genetics, UVC Power Sports Tractors and Outdoors, Rafter P Construction. For more videos on deer farming, check out the Deer Farming Channel on YouTube. All right, so we're in a different pen now. Of course, you got uh, some big bucks in this one too. So tell me, who is that chocolate buck right there? That's Capone. How old is he? Five years old. Okay, cool. Now look at the palms on him. Yeah, and he's really, really wide. Yeah, and we can go back and we just show the bucks that we just filmed, the other pen, and you kind of compare them. I mean, yeah. every one of these fallow bucks, they're kind of similar, but they're also big time different if you take a look real close at them. And so they're in the velvet right now. This is the first week of August. And uh, how many does you got him in here with? There's about 20 does in this pen. And then this other buck, this spotted buck. Yeah, that buck he? right there, that's hammer time. Hammer He's time. actually um, sledgehammer over lady, which a lady is like one of the top does in the fallow industry. Okay, Super so does. on our show, we always mention the North American Deer Registry, pedigrees, 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 and lineage of deer. Well, all these deer that Daryl's got here, the, if you want to buy a deer that's got a pedigree, okay, I'm talking about a fallow deer with a pedigree, here's the guy to come to because he pedigrees these deer. He can tell you who they're out of. Okay, and so if you're trying to build a herd, which we're all trying to build the best herd we can, and you want to build deer like Capone or any of these bucks that we're showing you on today's show, it's not by accident that's being done. It's, it's done by design. Right. Okay, and so these guys are the leaders in it. I mean, they wind up doing embryo work, they do AI work, and they work with people from not just Texas, but all over the country. So, and if you're looking for something to get into, the cool thing about fallow deer, you know, most of these places that we go to, there's eight foot high fence, okay? There's a high fence around it. But with fallow deer, do you have to have an eight foot fence? Well, you don't have to, because it's not regulated by the state of Texas or anything. People out there with a low fence, okay? It may be a four foot fence. A four foot fence will hold a fallow deer, okay? I've never ever seen a fallow deer jump a fence. I've, I haven't either. I've never seen a black buck jump a fence, and you sell black buck as well. Right. You just want to dabble at it. You would just want a few fallow deer, put them in your place and just see what happens. You handle that too, don't you? Yes, sir. Okay, so if somebody wants to do that, how do they go about doing that? They pick up the phone and call you and what do they do then? Come out here and see them or what? And come out here and look at them or we send them pictures over the phone or a lot of them just want bread doughs, bread to our really big bucks and we deliver them for free. Okay, we'll give you the phone number on how to contact them in just a second, but I want you to know an operation this size cannot be done by one guy alone. You got a partner. Okay, but you also got your worker bees out here. And tell everybody yeah. who, the, who, it's a family run operation. Yeah, this is a family business here. We um, all work together. My son, Lane, he takes care of all the day-to-day -day operations. He's the pen manager here. My younger boy, Logan, 
He helps his brother out doing all the day-to-day -day stuff, opening the gates at the deer pens, helping him feed. And in Montana, she takes care of all the bottle raising if we have a sick deer or anything like that. My brother also, Greg, he takes care of all the nutrition, everything the deer need. He's been doing it here since day one, as soon as we opened up. He's been the go-to guy on all that. Okay, so something in the whitetail industry is partnerships on deer. Right. Okay. Well, in the fallow industry, the partnerships are coming on too, and there's a reason for that. And tell everybody about partnerships on deer. Well, the benefits to us is, you know, they kind of help us promote the buck. The more we can breed these big fallow bucks, it's just going to help our industry out. So you're basically proving the deer out. You know, you got a deer like Capone or any of these other bucks that we're showing you on today's show. Okay, if you want to be a partner on one and you don't have the capital investment to buy the whole deer, right. okay, you can buy a part of the deer, a percentage of it. Okay, and, and I'm a percentage owner in one of the bucks out here. Okay, so you can get a, a percentage of the deer and you can participate in the profit. So you can do so without a big capital investment. What you wind up doing with partnerships, you spread the risk out and you also make sure that you're getting the genetics out there in the marketplace to show people to prove the deer out what he can do. Deer and Wildlife Stories is brought to you by Big Time Whitetails and Exotics. LE Fence, Record Rack Deer and Elk Feeds, UVC Power Sports Tractors and Outdoors, and by New Dart. Deer and Wildlife Stories will be right back. Closed captioning is brought to you by Advanced Deer Genetics. So you come out here to big time whitetail and exotics, you're gonna drive through this beautiful place. It's absolutely gorgeous. Got a beautiful lake out here with a windmill on it and lots of animals that are out here just free range really. And all these exotics, like these guys standing behind us, I mean, you do more than just whitetails and fallow deer. Tell everybody about the other exotics that you have and that they're likely to see when they come out here. Yeah, we got oryx, axis, black buck, and we're really getting big in the red stag right now also. Yeah, see the red stag, the red stag is another market that's fixing to take off big time. And the reason why is because it's not regulated by parks and wildlife, like we talked earlier right. about the fallow deer. And you've got some tremendous red stags out here. The genetics are unbelievable, including this gigantic red stag. He's probably 700 inches. Tell them about him. Yeah, he's really, really big. Probably one of my favorite animals now. One well, of he's them. He's got to be 700 inches. I mean, look at him. Yeah, he's um, Morpheus over Coco. Really, really good top genetics. Okay, so, so everything is genetics. Genetics, right. genetics, genetics, okay? And if you're gonna have quality animals like the fallow bucks that we've shown you, or the, the red stag like that, you've gotta have top end genetics, and that's exactly what you've got here. Right. So if, uh, if somebody's got a piece of property and they wanna put oryx on it, or fallow, or black buck, or, or red stag, you can help them out? Yes, sir, for sure. Okay, you do delivery as well? Yes, sir. Okay. So we're gonna show you some more big fallow bucks in a second, but what I want you to do, I wanna give your phone number out and your website so people can contact Daryl and find out more information on it. If you wanna come out here, you're gonna be blown away. Okay, you come out here, you're gonna see so many different animals. Give them a phone number. 936-402-3138, or you can email me at bigtimewhitetails at gmail.com. Okay, now what we want to do, we want to go take a look at some other fallow bucks. And there's one that I'm really excited about. And the reason why is because I'm a partner in him. So we're going to go take a look at him later on the show. But we're going to show you some more big time fallow bucks. Don't go anywhere. All right, so uh, we talked briefly about partnerships, uh, and I want uh, we're going to tell you more about partnerships and specific partners on this deer right here. And I want you to know I'm one of the specific partners on this deer right here. So tell everybody who this deer is. That's easy money right there. Look at him. And I'll tell you, it, it, it was easy for me to make a decision to get in the fallow industry because I've been watching it grow for the last few years and thought, I'm not gonna sit on the sidelines and let it grow and, and not take advantage of this catapult 
of business. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable what's going on. But Easy Money, tell him how old he is and a little history on him. Well, he's four years old this year, and he's a royal son back over the top of Chief. Everybody in the fallow industry, every single person in the fallow industry knows who Chief is. Right. So Chief is the dam sire, okay? Yes. And so when you start looking at that deer right there, he is the man. Okay, right. he's got the pedigree, he's got the blood behind him, and he's got the look. I mean, just look at him. Now, you don't have, you don't have him in here with a, a bunch of does. Why is that? No, not yet. You know, whenever we start breeding, you mm -hmm. know, we'll put him in a, in a pen with some girls in uh, probably November. Mm -hmm. We're going to collect him, though, right? Right. You can be a partner and in, in, uh, in enjoy the semen coming out of it and put it in your deer and do it, like I said, for a fraction of the cost. But it can also be, that semen can be sent to all these different states, Kentucky or Florida, and all these different states that you're dealing with anyway. Right. Okay, and all the does that are in with these bucks will be bred, okay? But the semen's gonna be on the ground to where you've got that to sell for the next year. I mean, easy money. I've got, I got my fingers crossed that uh, he's gonna even get bigger, believe it or not, at five years old than he is at four years old, but he is pretty incredible right sure. now. Sure and is. I appreciate the opportunity just to be a part of that deer right there. You can be a part of deer too, or you can own the whole doggone thing, or you can stock a ranch up. It's pretty doggone simple. All you gotta do is call Daryl. There are people in and out of here all day long. Every day. Want, every day, wanting to look at the deer. And the cool thing about it is the exotic industry, you can hunt them 24 seven, 365 days a year. Okay, That's right. where white-tailed deer, you've got a narrow time frame. They're heavily regulated by departments all over the country, but exotics are not regulated like that. So uh, ultimately, the end result for all these animals are going to be out on these ranches, improving the genetics, improving the quality of life for not just the animal, but the quality of life for the people and the experience that people have on that piece of property. So exotic animals, they're just great. All right, right now, when we get back from the break, we're gonna introduce you what could be the biggest chocolate fallow buck that's ever lived. All right. Tell him what his name is. Big Money. And you'll see why his name is Big Money, so don't go anywhere. Deer and Wildlife Stories is brought to you by Union Hill Whitetails, the North American Deer Registry, New Dart, and the North American Deer Farmers Association. For more videos on deer farming, check out the Deer Farming channel on YouTube. Now some great information on fencing from our friends at LE Fence. All right, hey guys, this is Ron with LE Fence. Back here, we're getting ready to stretch some net wire so we can get it put up before uh, call it quits for the evening. So right here, we've laid out the net wire on the ground, uh, attach it to our stretcher bar, and then we stood up some of our fence down the line so that when we pull it, it's already kind of standing upright. So now when we hook it up to our tractor and start pulling back, we start going until we get some good resistance on this net wire. Don't want to be too tight as we're working in some deer pins. You don't want a deer or a good buck running into it, breaking the neck or getting his antler stuck in the fence. So we keep a little bit of play in it, not much, just a little bit. And then after we get some good tension on it, we're gonna go ahead and start doing what we did over here on the gates and we're gonna cut one strand at a time and we're gonna cut off the stays and then tie the wire back around the pipe. And then we'll be done with this portion of the fence. All we got left to do are some gates. So we're gonna turn this one big deer pin into two little deer pins and good to go. Thanks guys. All right, so we're in the office to close this show out. I wanna show this buck to you. Look at these sheds off this fallow buck right here. Look at the palmation on them, the points, I mean the spread, that is absolutely amazing. And this buck we have not shown him to you yet, okay? But we're fixing to show him to you. First off, this buck's name is Big Money. And if you ever go to an exotic sale or many times some of the whitetail sales, the guys over here are gonna have a booth, okay? And you're gonna be able to see that poster right there, the Big Money poster. And so this buck right here is not here, and there's a reason why. We're gonna have Daryl tell you why, but on the way over here, we actually stopped and we got footage of this buck, and you're not gonna believe it. Daryl, tell everybody why Big Money is not here. Well, we have a partner on that buck over at 3S, Randy and Chris. And yeah. 
Last year was the year that he went over there. When you're getting involved with these guys, you're gonna be protected as a partner. If uh, you weren't protected, I wouldn't be a partner with them. But anyway, this deer right now, big money is over at 3S Ranch. And as you can see, I mean, yep, his four-year rack was big, but his five-year-old rack is absolutely gigantic. And he's alive and well. Now tell everybody about semen seals. You've got, uh, this is what's unbelievable about the fallow industry, okay? You cannot believe how good the semen sales are. I bet you can't even believe it. Because so tell them how, how good it is. It's really, really good. People from all over the all over the country is calling us about this deer right here in particular. Okay, he's modest. Okay, let me tell you something. This deer right here, they sold out of semen in 10 minutes. 10 minutes. There's not another deer on the planet I think that has ever happened with. In 10 minutes, they sold completely out of this. And so anyway, there is now semen available and they'll sell out real quick too. But uh, if somebody wants more information about what y'all are doing at Big Time Whitetails and Exotics, what do they need to do? Just call me on the phone or email me, either one. Okay, and folks, we put his number up several times, but we're gonna do it one more time at the end of the show because I want you to be able to consider putting exotics on your piece of property and specifically looking at these fallow deer because they're absolutely magnificent. Daryl, thank you for having us out and uh, thank you all for watching. If you're watching online, you're probably watching on the Deer Farming Channel, which is good. If you're not watching online, head on over to YouTube and subscribe to the Deer Farming Channel where all of our episodes are there. My name's Keith Warren, and we'll see you next time. Okay, so you've got property and you're wanting to build. Maybe a barn dominium, maybe deer facilities, or maybe a badass lodge. Well, you've got to check out Rafter P Construction. Rafter P Construction is the leading design build contractor across the state of Texas. Specializing in quality farm and ranch design build projects, Rafter P Construction encourages their customers to be very hands on, incorporating your input into every aspect of your project with their in house design teams. The goal of Rafter P Construction is to be your builder for life. Rafter P Construction. They'll be with you every step of the way to build your dream project. All the while, keeping quality and customer satisfaction at the forefront.